guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and wow, I feel like I have not made a video in a minute. My Lone Fox room, my studio room, which is of course what you guys are going to be touring today, just took a little bit longer than expected and I kind of made some changes last minute and I was like, I want to push the video back just a little bit. Besides that point, thank you guys for being so patient today. It is worth it though, because I'm going to be sharing with you guys a room in my apartment that I have never really shared with you. You guys saw it when I moved in, in the empty apartment tour. It is my Lone Fox studio, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So that's basically the premise of what this video is. However, I have such an exciting announcement to tell you guys quickly before jumping in. I've never really announced something in a video before ever, so I don't even know how to do this. Like, am I, am I supposed to build dramatic effect or like what exactly is basically I have an app. That's what it is. Like you guys, I have an app. I've been working on the design and development of the Lone Fox app for about the past four and a half months. And it has been such a fun creative process. There were definitely some high points and some low points, but everything has been fleshed out perfectly. It's been in the testing phase for a couple of weeks now. And I cannot wait for you guys to download my app. It is 100% free and is absolutely available on every platform, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, you can find the app. All you have to do is click the link in the description box below to download it or simply search in the app store for Lone Fox and it will pop up. The app is basically just called Lone Fox. I'm gonna move a little over to the side here so I can pop up some screenshots for you guys because me holding my phone really doesn't do much. So I'm gonna pop them up over here, but it is available today for download. It actually launched today, which is super, super exciting. But let me share with you guys some of the features once you download the app so you guys can kind of get an understanding of what you're gonna be able to get out of it. So when you open the app, there's going to be four main tabs on the top. There's going to be the shop tab, the videos tab, the blog tab, and the exclusive tab, which is super exciting. So the shop tag is exactly how it sounds. It is my entire online store in app form. So I absolutely love that you guys can now shop, see all of my new arrivals. You can also, if you turn on the notifications for the app, you can get push notifications when items come back in stock. Or if I want to send out a push notification, let's just say I get new holiday arrivals or like I restock something that you guys loved. Um, I can get, send you a push notification for that as well. So there's a lot of super exciting features when it comes to that element of it. But basically my entire shop is on here. And actually when you do download the app, you get a 15% off your first order within the app coupon and it will just pop up as a little pop up for you guys. There's also a videos tab. Now the videos tab is not going to have every single video I've ever done on my channel. This is more so to highlight like the past couple of months of videos and I'll be adding to it as I go because me going back and adding every single video within this app would just take so long. Um, but I do love how I designed this page so much. You guys can see all the different um, features on here. There's a ton of different videos. Some of them are kind of made into little GIF formats where you can just kind of see a little preview and then some of them are just thumbnails. So this is where you can browse my new uploads. So that's basically the video tab. A lot of my YouTube videos will be housed in this section and then also the blog section is exactly how it sounds as well. You can tap the article below to read the post. So all of my blog posts are on the app as well. Super exciting. It's just basically like a one-stop shop I guess for everything Lone Fox. So that's the blog section. Pretty understandable as well. And then we have the exclusive section. The new fall arrivals is an exclusive video, but the 10 decor hacks I swear by is not an exclusive video that will actually be replaced with a video I'm uploading today for you guys. So when you download the app, you're going to see another video in here and it is actually the full makeover of this entire studio room. I had never planned on filming the makeover of this process. So I kind of started working on it throughout the months. And then as I kind of reshifted my whole brain and decided I wanted to go with a different concept, I started filming the process like little bits here and there. And I combined it into an exclusive video only available on the app. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm not going to be uploading content on my channel anymore. That is absolutely not the case at all. But any additional content that I want to have just like live somewhere else is going to be right here. So I'm still posting just as normal here, but I also want to like work even harder to post exclusive content on the app just for so you guys have extra stuff to look at. Basically, the app is just a one stop shop for everything Lone Fox. You can watch my videos, read my blog posts, exclusive content and shop the entire site over there. So it's definitely an app I think everyone should have on their phone phone. If you do enjoy my content, I would love for you guys to download it. And also one other thing that would help me out so much is once you do download it and kind of browse it a little bit, if you can go back to the app store and give it a review and a written review, that would be awesome. If you guys can like leave a rating, five stars, of course, is the best. But if you don't have a five star experience, let me know and I'll fix it for you. And again, the makeover of the studio is within the app. So you got to download that, go to the exclusive tab, and you can watch an additional video on how this kind of came to be. But let's go ahead and jump on into the studio tour. 
Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Lone Fox Studio. This is such an exciting space for me to actually share with you guys because I have never shared it with anybody. The only person that has seen this is Marie, who is behind the camera currently. So this space has been kind of like a work in progress since I moved in. And as many of you guys know, in my old apartment, I had my bedroom and my kind of workstation in the same exact space. Um, and in that space, I tried to maximize my storage. So when I moved, I knew that I needed an additional kind of like storage room because as many of you guys know, if you are DIYers or crafters, your supplies build up pretty, pretty quickly. And if you do this as a job like I do, which I love doing so much, of course I need a space to kind of work out of. So this is my Lone Fox studio and I'm going to be giving you guys a 360 tour of the entire space. So come on inside um, and I guess we'll just start over in this right corner over here. So when you walk in, of course the door is gonna be right here and then to the right over here is just a little storage section. I've actually had this unit right here for quite a while. This is from Urban Outfitters if you were curious. It has a lot of my smaller items in it. So things like nails and screws, spackle, hot glue. Um, I'll just give you guys a little bit of a look inside so as you can see here I have glues inside of there this one is just miscellaneous it just has like kind of like my junk drawer if you will lots of pens and pencils and things like that this storage piece is really nice because it has so many different drawers and the drawers are pretty substantial so there's 15 different sections throughout here as opposed to having like four larger drawers in like a larger um, dresser unit I like how this really divides everything up for you a lot of my smaller items are kind of housed in here and I have larger storage on that wall which I'll show you guys in just a little bit. So then right on top of the storage unit here, I have a couple of these Joann's crates and these are amazing. The thing I love about these is that they're only like 10 bucks and you can use a coupon on them normally. So they get even cheaper. They could hold quite a bit in here. So a lot of my larger tools are in here. For example, I have like drill bits, which of course won't fit over on my pegboard. Um, just things that I access pretty often that I don't have space for on this wall behind me are inside of here. Right above that is a memo board. So you guys saw me DIY this with McKenna. I created Created this out of a frame that she had got me and I really wanted to start posting some inspirational kind of photos up here but I just added it this morning so I still do need to print some pictures out and then moving over to the right side we have a couple of my tripods these are what I used of course to film a lot of my videos and then over to the right again this is a really new exciting section for me I guess you could say it is a leaning pegboard and also I totally forgot to mention you guys we painted the wall in here. So the wall in this room is painted Grecian Green by Benjamin Moore. And we painted not only the wall, but also the baseboard, the door frame, and the entire door, just because I felt like it added like such a vibe to the space as opposed to just having the wall. This is a pegboard that I created. And I actually did share with you guys how I made this over on the makeover video within the app. So if you watch that one, um, this will actually be in there. It's just a pegboard and I created like a base for it. And then I painted it white and then I got pegs of course, and just hung a lot of my most used tools on here. So I have my scissors, a uh, tape measure, these are just screwdrivers, a ton of tools that I use um, in all my DIY projects that I want to easily access. I wanted an area where I could see everything and just like if I need a hammer, I already got the hammer, you know, like it's just right there. So <laughs> underneath the pegboard, these are all of my faux florals. And some of you guys be like, why do you have so many faux florals, Drew? Well, I have a lot of faux florals because A Floral gifted me a ton of them and I absolutely love using these when I take photos for my website, kind of putting them in this basket and having them out and about as opposed to shove in a drawer, which just kind of add a little bit of color to the space as well. And then to the right of the door is my big storage dresser. This is just an Ikea wood Tarva dresser. It's like a six drawer dresser, I believe. And I put these really cute little ceramic knobs on there, which these are from Amazon. I'll make sure to link them for you guys below. They were actually an option for Marie's dresser in her room and inside of these drawers are just more tools and supplies so this is my camera drawer where I have a lot of my different camera supplies whether it be lenses um, microphones things like that and then this drawer right here is a lot of my wood working pieces I guess you could say so a lot of like wood and I guess a couple of metal rings as well and then we have even more wood items down here so just things that are basically crafted from wood or that I use for my wood projects is in there. And then above the dresser is kind of like my little gallery section, I guess you could say. These are just prints that I've gotten either from brands or that I've purchased or that some of you guys have actually made me. I had an incredible follower actually send me this really cute fox print and I'll put his Instagram on the screen for you guys. I just absolutely love this and I wanna find a frame for it so that I can hang it up, but it's currently just kind of sitting over here and I have some, of course, DIY artwork that I've made that I just wanna use in a makeover or just kind of like, you know, use in a future project. And I have a couple of lamps over here as well, including this really cute one, which will probably end up going in my bedroom makeover. 
um, when I do that project. And then right over here, you guys, there is a window and there's two windows in the space. There's one right here. There's one over on the right side as well. And these just have some curtains from Target. I added a new rod up here, kind of raised it a bit just to elevate the height of the walls and just make them look a little nicer. And I still did want a sheer curtain on this window because this room doesn't get too much light. So I really wanted to maximize the light. So I didn't want any light blocking curtains in here at all. And then we are getting to the fun part here, guys. So this is my workstation. Now, I mainly film a lot of my videos either in the kitchen, in the little breakfast nook area, uh, if it's natural lighting, but if I wanna film at nighttime or if I have a specific project in mind, for example, I filmed the entire Halloween tutorial in here because I really wanted to have an orange background and kind of make it a bit more festive. So this is a space where I can apply different papers over the top and I actually have a whole filming light setup here, which my good friend James helped me with. He is a master with lighting. So he helped me get this light here and then I already had this one and I set it up. There's actually normally a big huge diffuser over the top here and then the camera actually mounts right here and points directly down and then I can see myself on the monitor and see what my hands are actually doing. So I have a facing down camera and then I watch my hands and like make sure that I'm in frame over on the monitor here. So it's a whole kind of like rigged setup. There's a lot of wiring going on back here, but all around it's such an incredible setup, especially if you want to film at nighttime. It gives you such a pretty look. The table here is from Amazon. You might notice there's also a coffee table underneath the table. This is the old Zara coffee table and I use this to film on sometimes too because I love the wood texture. So I kind of just keep that underneath there and I pull it out when I'm filming and kind of just like put it in randomly in the room. And I have my little desk chair here with the fox pillow on it because why not? It's so cute. Behind me, you guys might see the most storage of your entire life. And this is my main storage wall, I guess you could say. Over on this wall, I have two humongous bookshelves. These are, well, they're not bookshelves. They're more like garage industrial storage shelves. These are from Amazon. I'll link them below for you guys. And then on all of these shelves are a ton of my supplies. So I guess we'll just start, I guess we should start over on the left side and kind of work our way to the right. But you guys might not be able to see over in the corner here are a couple of rugs, which I've used on past transformations. And then I've either swapped them out for a new rug or I want to use them on a future project. So I have a couple of rugs over here and then we're moving over to the first door. This is definitely the most again random storage I guess you could say I have like baskets and trays here these are my Celeste base collection from my website which just came back in stock so if you guys are wanting some of these pieces like this cute donut vase it's back in stock over on the website this was like my best selling collection so I really wanted to have a lot for myself because I want to use them in people's makeovers and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get them again but they are back and then underneath here I have a lot of crates again these are the little crates from Joann's which are only like 10 to 15 dollars this is my DIY crate so anything that I've purchased that I want to actually DIY whether it be a thrift flip or just anything that I haven't yet created or I've over purchased I kind of put in here that way I know which ones I have to work on and then inside this basket I have some trays and picture frames so there's a metal tray down here we have one of the trays from my Amazon video and then we have table legs right here which is a random one to have but I have a lot of table legs because I love swapping those out and then, oh, some cute little macrame hangers, again from Lone Fox. I love these. I wanted to have these on hand as well, um, just in case I wanna add a little bit of dimension to a space. And then up here is a ton of random decor, you guys. Everything above this entire shelf, which is a bit challenging to see, is all decor that I've either purchased, bought, used in my past room makeovers, or I want to use in future room makeovers. And a lot of it's actually thrifted um, or from my website. So I kind of just store it all up there uh, at a tiered level. So that way I can see the tallest to the smallest items and kind of see like what I can use. So I just got this moonshine container actually my dad told me that's what it was at the goodwill but i thought it was such a cool vessel so i bought this just with no purpose at all but i want to keep it in case i want to use it in a future project over here i really like this section because i love the warmth that all of this wood gives off there's a ton of storage bins here i'm just going to go through these pretty quickly with you guys we have spray paint spray paint and normal paint so this is colored this is neutral and this is just like your normal acrylic paint inside of there which is kind of all organized and then above that I have three full bins of yarn, which probably is not normal, but I think it's fine. So right over here is all my colored yarn. So anything that has any form of like saturation to it, and then everything else in these two bins are both neutral yarn. So clearly I need to buy zero neutral yarn because I have two full freaking bins of it, which is probably not normal. Then above that, this is all hardware. So cabinet pulls, drawer handles, um, curtain rings, whatever it might be that's kind of like hardware related is in this bin. And then right here are all of my strings and cords. So 
hemp cording, elastic cording, just like your traditional cotton rope. And then moving to the right side, these are all rolls of stuff. So I have my cane rattan from the local cane shop all on top. And then underneath here, these are like peel and stick marble, contact paper. I have some wrapping paper under here, some wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper. And then down here, we just have paint. So gallons of paints that I've used for past room makeovers that I wanna continue using and I just don't wanna get rid of. And then I have my printer down here as well. So that's kind of like this whole shelving system. And the last section of this room is just the corner to the left side of the door here. As you can see, we have another door back here. This is actually the door that was in the dining room area. Um, when I painted that that navy blue color, we took this off because the door would not close. So it's just here temporarily. And then over here, I have had these storage systems, you guys. If you remember one of my past videos where I shared my old craft room with you when I was in high school, I've had these since high school. So I am still repurposing them. And in here is a ton of randomness because most of the time the door is open here and the door actually kind of hides this area, which I love. So back here is a ton of random stuff. I have a couple of design books, like I have adhesive in this little bin right here, random like construction adhesives and just things like that. I have a scale for my online store. So if I have like a um, item I don't know the weight of, I can weigh it on there. We have command hooks and strips inside of here. There's resin and mosaic work, like cement pieces in here. And then above, I have even more faux flowers. Um, and then right over here, this is all pillowcases. Uh, like throw pillowcases because I tend to overbuy throw pillows and I turn them into cases if I'm not using them anymore. So those are all throw pillowcases in there. And then right down here are all of my paper rolls. I actually have like 10 more at my friend James's house right now because I was shooting products over there. But these are what I use on top of my table when I wanna film a background. So I have like white, cream, I have an olive green. These ones I actually bought for Christmas time. And then behind that are just a couple of random wall art pieces that didn't fit over in my gallery section. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I installed this light. You guys, I installed a light myself. This is the first light that I've ever hardwired in my life. It was actually super, super simple. And James actually gave me this as well. It was from his new home and he got one to replace it. So I was like, that is so pretty. I want that in this space and I love it. I don't know where it's from though. So if anyone does, definitely leave a comment below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my studio tour. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I'm gonna film an outro after this anyways. So just stay tuned and I guess I'll catch you in the outro section. But thank you guys for checking this out with me. So that finishes today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my Kind of like craft sanctuary this is literally where all the magic happens where everything behind lone fox kind of comes to be all my ideas are generated in here a lot of my projects are very trial and error in here and a lot of the projects are filmed in here as well and i've never been able to share this space and i'm so excited that you guys are able to now see it and of course um on top of the really exciting video i also launched my app so do not forget to download it it's available 100 worldwide 100 free and on every single platform so definitely download it check it out the links to download will be in the description box below and don't forget to also leave a review it would help me out so much you guys and I really appreciate all of your guys' support this is such an incredible step for Lone Fox it's just like wow I can never ever thought I would have an app apps to me just seem like something very challenging to develop so I'm very happy to have one so I'll catch you guys in my next one do not forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification for my next video and I'll see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.